Have you ever wondered how the stages of life, with all their joys and challenges, could be navigated using ancient wisdom? In the ever-evolving world we live in, one might think that the wisdom of the ancients holds little relevance. Yet, the philosophy of Stoicism, founded over 2,000 years ago, offers timeless insights that resonate with us, regardless of our age. Stoicism is a practical philosophy, a way of life that teaches us how to navigate the tumultuous seas of existence with grace and poise. It's not about suppressing our emotions, but rather about understanding and managing them, so we can maintain our tranquility and focus on what truly matters. The beauty of Stoicism lies in its universality. It's applicable to all. Whether you're a teenager grappling with the overwhelming world of adolescence, a young adult stepping into the daunting realm of independence, someone in the throes of midlife wrestling with existential questions, or a senior reflecting on the years gone by and pondering the meaning of it all. For the adolescent, Stoicism offers a compass in the stormy seas of emotions and the social pressures of growing up. It teaches young adults about the value of self-reliance and the importance of aligning actions with core values. In midlife, when many of us begin to question our life's purpose, Stoicism provides a framework to find meaning and fulfillment. And in our senior years, Stoicism guides us to age with dignity, embracing the wisdom that comes with experience. Each stage of life comes with its own set of trials and tribulations, joys and sorrows. And for each stage, Stoicism has a unique lesson to offer, a beacon of wisdom to guide us through the murky waters. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but a flexible, adaptable philosophy that evolves with us as we journey through life. So whether you're 16 or 60, the wisdom of Stoicism has something to offer you. Join us as we embark on a journey through the stages of life, enlightened by the wisdom of Stoicism. Adolescence, a tumultuous yet exciting stage of life, how can Stoicism guide us here? It's a question that, when answered, can shape the very core of one's character. Let's dive into it. The first Stoic principle to consider is self-control, or in Greek, egrateia. The Stoics believed that we are the masters of our reactions, though not always of our circumstances. Peer pressure can be an overwhelming force during adolescence. The urge to fit in can sometimes push us to do things that are not aligned with our true selves. Stoics advise us to exercise self-control and not let the crowd dictate our actions. The next time you feel that pressure building, remember the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca. We should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed? What temptation resisted? What virtue acquired? The second principle is acceptance or amor fati love of fate. Adolescence is often marked by an identity crisis, the struggle to understand who we are and where we fit in this vast world. The stoic approach to this is acceptance. Acceptance of oneself, acceptance of others, and acceptance of the world as it is. Stoicism teaches us that we cannot control everything, but we can control how we respond to everything. So, instead of fighting against the tide of self-discovery, we should embrace it, accepting the uncertainty and the confusion as part of the journey. This doesn't mean ignoring our feelings or suppressing our desires. It means acknowledging them, understanding them, and then using them as tools for growth and self-improvement. The third Stoic principle is understanding nature's course or physis. This principle is about recognizing the natural flow of life and learning to move with it rather than against it. Adolescence is a time of emotional turbulence. Hormones are raging, feelings are intense, and everything seems so incredibly important. It's easy to get swept up in the drama of it all, but Stoics remind us that these feelings are natural. They are part of the human experience, part of nature's course. Instead of letting these emotions control us, we should strive to understand them, to find their root cause, and to use this understanding to guide our actions. Stoicism doesn't ask us to suppress our emotions, Rather, it encourages us to see them for what they are, temporary, changeable, and ultimately manageable. Stoicism is not about denying our humanity, but about embracing it. It's about finding balance in a world that often seems chaotic. 
It's about learning to navigate the stormy seas of adolescence with grace and resilience. It's about understanding that we are not at the mercy of our emotions, but that we have the power to steer our own ship. So, let's recap. Self-control helps us resist the pull of peer pressure. Acceptance allows us to navigate our identity crisis with grace. Understanding nature's course gives us the tools to manage emotional turbulence. These principles don't promise an easy journey, but they do promise a meaningful one. These stoic principles don't just apply to adolescence, but to all stages of life. They form a philosophical framework that can guide us in our decisions and our actions, helping us to live a life that is authentic, balanced and fulfilling. In the storm of adolescence, stoicism serves as a sturdy sail, guiding us towards the shore of maturity. So, let's set sail, together, into the exciting voyage of adolescence, with the wisdom of the Stoics as our compass. As we step into the world of adulthood, what Stoic wisdom can we hold on to? This, my friends, is a question that has been asked for centuries, and today we delve into the heart of it. The first Stoic principle we'll explore is the concept of virtue as the highest good. In Stoicism, virtue is viewed as the sole good, the only thing that can truly bring happiness. It's not about what you have, but who you are as a person. For young adults, this can be an empowering concept. In a world where success is often defined by material wealth and status, Stoicism encourages us to focus on our character and moral integrity as the true measure of success. As young adults, we often find ourselves caught in a whirlwind of expectations. Landing the perfect job, maintaining a bustling social life, finding a romantic partner. It can be easy to lose sight of the importance of our own character in this hustle. Yet the Stoics would argue that it is our virtues, our kindness, honesty, courage and wisdom that truly define us. How we act in the face of adversity, how we treat others, how we carry ourselves in the world, these are the true measures of a successful life. The second principle of Stoicism that can guide young adults is the focus on what we can control and accepting what we can't. Life is full of uncertainties and inevitable disappointments. We don't always get the job we want, relationships can end, and our best laid plans can go awry. But the Stoics teach us that our happiness doesn't have to depend on external circumstances. Imagine the freedom that comes with the realization that you can't control everything that happens to you, but you can control how you respond to it. You can't control the economy, or the actions of your boss, or even the feelings of your partner, but you can control your own actions, your own reactions, and your own attitude. This principle encourages resilience, helping young adults navigate the ups and downs of their careers, relationships, and personal lives with a sense of calm, and equanimity. The final Stoic principle we'll discuss is accepting what we can't change. Acceptance is a powerful tool in the Stoic toolkit. It's about understanding that some things are simply beyond our control and learning to let go of the struggle against reality. This doesn't mean we become passive or apathetic. Rather, it's about focusing our energy on the things we can change and accepting the things we can't. For young adults, this principle can be particularly helpful when dealing with setbacks or disappointments. Perhaps you didn't get the promotion you were hoping for, or a relationship didn't work out as you'd planned. Instead of dwelling on the what-ifs and if-onlys, Stoicism teaches us to accept these situations, learn from them and move forward. It's about recognizing that every experience, good or bad, is an opportunity for growth and personal development. So, as we navigate the turbulent seas of young adulthood, these Stoic principles can serve as our guiding stars. They remind us to focus on our virtues, to control what we can, and to accept what we can't. They encourage us to find happiness not in external achievements, but in our own character and moral integrity. They teach us resilience in the face of adversity, and acceptance in the face of disappointment. In the bustling marketplace of adulthood, Stoicism offers us a compass, pointing us towards virtue and tranquility. Stoicism, then, is not just an ancient philosophy. It's a practical guide for life, a roadmap to a fulfilling and meaningful existence, no matter what life throws at us. And for young adults, 
It's a philosophy that can help navigate the challenges and complexities of this exciting yet daunting stage of life. Midlife, a stage often marked by crisis. Can Stoicism provide a lifeline? Let's dive into this rich question, for it's in the heart of the storm where we truly discover who we are. As we wade through the waters of midlife, the winds of change often whip around us, stirring up crises such as career stagnation, relationship issues and existential dread. And it's here in this tumultuous sea where the principles of Stoicism can become our compass, guiding us towards tranquility. Let's start with the Stoic principle of seeing obstacles as opportunities. This principle is beautifully encapsulated in a quote from the esteemed Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius, who wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In the context of midlife, this principle can be a powerful tool. Career stagnation, for instance, may feel like an insurmountable hurdle, but through the lens of Stoicism, it transforms into a chance for growth, a moment to reassess our goals, and perhaps even a catalyst for a new, fulfilling career path. Similarly, relationship issues, while painful, can offer opportunities for self-discovery, for enhancing our communication skills and for deepening our connections with others. The next principle, embracing fate, or amor fati, encourages us to love our fate, no matter what it may be. It nudges us to accept and embrace life's inevitable ups and downs rather than resisting them. Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happen the way it happens. Then you will be happy. In the throes of midlife, when we may feel like we're losing control, this principle can be a soothing balm. It reminds us that we can't control everything. We can't control our aging bodies, the actions of our partners, or the evolving world around us. What we can control, however, is how we respond to these changes. And if we choose to embrace them, we may find ourselves not just surviving, but thriving amidst the chaos. Finally, the pursuit of wisdom over material wealth is a principle that becomes increasingly relevant as we age. Midlife often brings a certain level of financial stability, and with it the temptation to chase after more wealth, more possessions, more status. But Stoicism gently reminds us that these are fleeting pleasures, susceptible to the whims of fortune. True wealth, according to Stoicism, lies not in material possessions, but in wisdom, in understanding the world around us, in cultivating virtue, and in striving to become the best version of ourselves. Seneca, another prominent Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. As we navigate the labyrinth of midlife, these Stoic principles can be our guiding light. They can help us see obstacles as opportunities, enabling us to grow and evolve. They can teach us to embrace our fate, fostering acceptance and peace, and they can remind us to pursue wisdom over material wealth, anchoring us in what truly matters. Stoicism, in essence, provides us with a roadmap, a set of principles that can help us navigate the choppy waters of midlife. It's not a panacea, nor a magic wand that will make all our problems disappear, but it is a lifeline, a beacon of light that can guide us towards a life of tranquility, even amidst the storm. In the labyrinth of midlife, Stoicism lights our path, illuminating the way to inner peace. As we enter our twilight years, can Stoicism help us find contentment? A question that deserves thoughtful contemplation. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy, carries timeless principles that can guide us gracefully through the golden years of life. Let's delve into the Stoic principles of accepting mortality, cherishing the present moment, and valuing wisdom above all. Firstly, accepting mortality. This concept might seem grim, but it's a natural part of life. Stoicism urges us to view mortality not as a terrifying end, but as a reminder of the importance of living fully in the present. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, death and pain are not frightening. It's the fear of pain and death we need to fear. So instead of dreading the inevitable, why not use it as a motivation to live each day with purpose and gratitude? Now to the second principle, cherishing the present moment. It's easy to get caught up in the past or worry about the future, especially as we age. But Stoicism teaches us that the present moment is all we truly have. 
Seneca, another renowned Stoic philosopher, advised, the whole future lies in uncertainty. Live immediately. By embracing the present, we can find joy in the simple pleasures of life, like the laughter of a grandchild, the rustle of leaves in the wind, or the taste of a well-brewed cup of tea. The value of wisdom is the third principle we'll discuss. Stoicism places wisdom above all other virtues, viewing it as the key to a fulfilled life. Wisdom in Stoic philosophy is not about knowing everything, but rather about understanding the nature of things, including our own nature. It's about recognizing that things like wealth, status, and physical beauty are transient, while virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and self-control are eternal. As we age, we gather a wealth of experiences, and it's through these experiences that we gain wisdom. These principles are not just philosophical musings, but practical tools to help us navigate the challenges of our golden years. Dealing with health decline, for instance, can be daunting. But accepting mortality can help us view our physical ailments not as a cruel injustice, but as a natural part of life's journey. Losing loved ones is another painful reality many of us face as we age. It's here that cherishing the present moment can provide solace. By appreciating the time we have with our loved ones, we can create memories that will comfort us in their absence. Finally, confronting mortality can be a source of anxiety. But if we value wisdom, we can find peace in understanding that death is but a natural part of the cycle of life. It's not an end, but a transition, a reminder of the preciousness of each moment we have. In conclusion, Stoicism offers a perspective that can turn the challenges of our twilight years into opportunities for growth and contentment. By accepting mortality, we can live each day to its fullest. By cherishing the present moment, we can find joy in the simplest of things. By valuing wisdom, we can appreciate the richness of our experiences and the depth of our understanding. And so, as the sun sets on our lives, Stoicism offers us a serene acceptance, bathing us in the warm glow of wisdom. The golden years, just like any other stage of life, are a chapter to be lived fully with courage and grace, guided by the timeless principles of Stoicism. So how does Stoicism accompany us throughout life's journey? When we first begin to navigate life's tumultuous waters during adolescence, Stoicism teaches us to cultivate resilience. It encourages us to understand that we cannot control everything that happens to us, but we can certainly control our reactions. This valuable lesson helps us to weather the storms of teenage angst and uncertainty. As we transition into young adulthood, Stoicism remains by our side, guiding us towards a life of integrity and purpose. It advises us to focus not on fleeting pleasures and superficial gains, but on the pursuit of virtue and wisdom. It nudges us to make choices that align with our core values, setting the stage for a fulfilling life. When we reach midlife, often fraught with responsibilities and existential questions, Stoicism once again lends a helping hand. It reminds us that our worth is not defined by external achievements or societal expectations, but by our inner character. It urges us to embrace change, to accept the transient nature of life, and to find peace amidst the chaos. And as we enter the golden years, Stoicism continues to be a source of strength and solace. It guides us to reflect on our lives with gratitude, to celebrate our journey, and to embrace the cycle of life and death with equanimity. It promotes contentment, urging us to cherish the present moment and to age with grace and dignity. Throughout all these stages, Stoicism serves as a compass, helping us navigate life's ups and downs with grace, courage and wisdom. It doesn't promise a life devoid of challenges, but it does offer a framework for dealing with them effectively. It teaches us to value virtue over vice, wisdom over ignorance, and tranquility over turbulence. From the dawn of adolescence to the twilight of our years, Stoicism remains a faithful companion, guiding us towards a life of virtue, tranquility, and wisdom.